Hello, hi. Uh, fancy making a couple of journal cards with me today? Quite shabby chic, use up lots of tiny snippets, a bit of stamping and a bit of colouring and some rough sewing round the edges. Some journaling spots on the back. So we'll do another two just like these two. So for the base of the tag, I've had these for many years. These are Craftwork Cards Tag Pack, um, antiqued. I doubt very much if you can get them, but you might find them on eBay. So I just cut off this little curly bit because I didn't want to have that on my tags or journaling cards. I never know whether to call something a tag or a journaling card. Um, I've got this one half prepared, so I'll stick this one on a piece of book paper. Um, I've got my, there's a piece here that'll do. My tray of pieces of book paper. So we want to stick it on with the plain side down. So we'll just give it a quick whiz with some Prit stick or a glue stick and will it go that way? Nope, this way. Doesn't matter which way. We'll give that a little moment and then we'll trim round it. So I do quite like because I started off a card maker and a journaler. I have lots of things to use up and since I discovered the junk journaling type of crafting, I'm able to use up because before I would never have thought of covering these in old book pages. That would have been quite alien to me, to be honest. So, we'll ink round the edges. I've got my Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And I will just give it just a rough, quick little... I thought the Victorian Velvet was a nice change from the the browns and greys that we quite often use and maybe a little on the other side just take a little way of that white edge when we've cut there we are so we have our two cards covered and we're going to do a bit of stamping, which is the other thing that I have lots of from my card making. So this is Stamperia and it's, oh, it doesn't have a name. Nope, it doesn't have a, a name of what the, um, here it's over here. Versifying because I'm going to be using some distress markers which are water based and that means you have to use something that's not going to some something an ink pad that's not going to um, run or make any uh, bleed with your and I'm going to stamp it the same way as I did this one, slightly off the side, slightly off the side, so it gives it a little bit of interest. And it means I can do a little bit of mini collage on that side. So that's always good. Collage is one of my new favourite things to do since discovering this too. So that's pretty good there. We'll just let that dry a moment and 
we will do the other stamp, which is this AB Studios. And it doesn't have a name either. Nope. But it's a hot air balloon if you were searching for it. Um, I've not done this one too much off the side at all because I was I quite liked the word on it. But now that I see it, I think you know, I wouldn't really miss that word. And I think I might just do it right off the side. Make this one slightly different because I think I've got less, yes, I've got less bird cage as well on that one. Give that a good press down. There. We can leave that over there now. And I'll leave that over there. I've got all my bits piled up beside me. So we have our two ready for a little bit of colouring. And normally I would use water with these to give it a smoosh about, but this old book page doesn't react well to the water. And these pens are actually quite dry. I've had them for a long time. And so I can just not even properly colour. Just a hint of a colour in places. You see, just a hint of a colour and maybe some green leaves. Not even colouring in. Yeah, it just keeps to the shabby chicness of it. And that, so that was Victorian Velvet, which is the same as the ink around the edge and crushed olive and this is old paper and this is just to give the bird cage a little bit of solid not even colouring it in just and even just round give it something to stand on a little bit of grounding and a little bit of a shade Round the edge. So, and that just makes it pop a wee bit from the card. So, the balloon. Um, and the balloon, I'm going to do milled lavender. And this pen is really dry, but it's just enough, it's holding on just enough to do this it's just a hint of a colour not even properly coloured in just enough to take away the plainness there we are and let's see Okay, so that's our background. Next, we want to do the butterfly. So this butterfly is from Penny Black and at last the name, Social Butterfly. So we want to stamp it onto another piece of... Let's just use... These two pieces here. And again, with the Versafine, taking the ink pad to the stamp and a nice push down. This one. And again. We're going to fussy cut these, which just means trim around. And 
that. We'll do this one in the pink. Again, not anything fancy. Just adding little bits of colour. Leaving some bits uncoloured. And did we do them both pink? Will we do them both the same? I think that one's lavender. I don't know if this lavender will... Oh yeah, I'm getting a wee drop out of it. Enough. How easy is that colouring? So, that's us with the pens. And where is my... Where are the scissors? I left them over at the sewing machine. Okay, so I'm just going to leave a slight border around the butterfly. I don't know why, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Just a tiny border rather than go right up to the edge. There we are. That's one. And this one. This old book is really easy to cut because it's quite brittle well I suppose it, I suppose it is brittle and um, that makes it I think a wee bit a wee bit easier there we are and two now now the fun I have my little box of tiny snippets because I have a box of snippets and then no I have three boxes I have biggish snippets, the snippets and the tiny snippets, <laughs> the tiny snippets. <laughs> Let's choose some material just for a little bit on the back. Mm, that just is maybe too small. Here's some, here's a little bit of green. there so we've got that and then maybe a little bit of the brown paper and what have we got oh that's a nice one all the edges to be torn so we'll have that that and that and then the butterfly yep and kind of the same on this one everyone's well so we've got this and this and we're all well here bit of this is this the same as what was in the other one Just waiting to get our second jag. Oh, is this not? Oh, there we go. I haven't had my porridge. Yes, waiting for the second, waiting for our blue envelope. And then we put that, then that, and then this. Yes, good. So the snippets can be put out of the way. 
Let's tidy up a little bit or we'll only run out of room. And let's find a little tag for the top. Yeah, a little tag for the top. That one. That'll do. Decision made. Right, let's get a little bit of glue on these. And then once we get our second jag. Oh, I should have stuck my, my bits down first. So that I could lift this up to see. Oh, it's fine. I'll just do this one while we're at it. Yeah. Second jab, I think we'll feel a lot better, although we're doing really well here. There's just one area up north that's a bit iffy. I don't know what they're doing up there. They must be having parties. <laughs> Kayleys, I don't know. <laughs> These northerners. Hmm. Right. Don't need to stick this on all the way around because I'm quite keen on keeping it all a little bit loose around the edges. And so it can just go on all Higgledy Piggledy because that's the way I want it and then this little flutter by yeah move him down a wee bit whoops come on stick yeah so that just needs stitch round the edges and we'll do this one and a little bit of material next and then we can take it to the sewing machine no what I want to do is round the corners that's what I want to do. I want to round the corners and I want to ink that little tag at the top there. So let's do that first. Let's ink a little bit. This one. There we are. Maybe just give that a little. Why not? There. Oh, yes, and the words. The that Let's round the corner first. There we are. The bottom ones just adds a little bit of interest to the bottom. So, words. I have this set of words because on this one I've got I dream of stars that glitter, and on this one it says go wherever anyone wishes. Quite abstract, but sort of conjure up a feeling. So, let's see. The little stars love greatly. To fly it to your heart seems appropriate for a hot air balloon. I wonder if we should put it along the... Tag. No, let's put it underneath the tag. It's kind of too obvious to put it on the tag. Here we are. 
to fly to your hat and let's see find your loveliness that's a nice one let's put it there nearly hidden find your loveliness there we are a little bit of there so all we have to do now is take them to the sewing machine and I am not the best sewer in the world as you can see but I find that if I go around and I'm in a bit and squidgly a bit then if you go around a second time it looks as if you did it deliberately. This one I went round a second time but I actually managed to sew nearly on top of the first time <laughs> apart from this bit and this bit so I don't know how, I, I couldn't have done that if I tried so this time I'll try and make it more obvious that I've been round or that I've been round twice so that's what we'll go and do okay that's them sewn around in my haphazard way it's uh, and I'm going to blame the sewing machine it's very old and I mean it's like very old so <laughs> I think I might treat myself to a new one now that I've started using a sewing machine again um, anyway that's them so I've got four super shabby chic stamped very vintagey looking um, cards ready for my little box of bits that are ready and um, in a journal soon um, they'll be ready to slip in a pocket or clip on to the side or do something nice with so I'm really pleased with how they've turned out and um, yeah let me know a thumbs up would be great um, oh look at my inky thumbs <laughs> Uh, a thumbs up would be great um, if you haven't already subscribed that would be wonderful thank you to everyone who has already subscribed it's great to have you here and I love reading all the comments they they really boost my confidence and um, make me smile so thanks for that and I'll see you again next time so take care bye for now